Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be making cryo cubes and I came with this idea by simply doing R&D for something else uh, and I was trying to recreate this kind of image which I found really cool and today we're gonna do something similar. So let's do it. This is what we're going to be creating today. I'm gonna just get rid of this project and just save it. Yeah, save it please. So let's start with the cube. Let's go into our objects and select cube, hold shift and drag it up 100 centimeters. So it just sits on the ground perfectly. Now let's do segments 15 and 15. So we have 15 segments on X and 15 segments on Y axis and now we're gonna do the little fillet if you like if you don't just don't you can skip this step for sure and now i'm just gonna press c make it editable just go into our selection live selection and i'm just gonna go into polygon mode so i'm um, selection polygon mode and i'm gonna start selecting you can hold the middle mouse button and just by dragging up or down, you can enlarge this selection. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm gonna select all those front facing polygons. This is satisfying. Unless I miss. Yep. Select my move tool again. And I'm gonna right click this. I'm gonna disconnect it. Now when I move this, it's separate. I want separate object here as well. So I'm gonna right click this again and I say, hey, split this. So now it created separate object and I can call it from glass and hide it. So now I hit it and it's still kind of looking like it's there, but it's just from the, the previous cube and the, all the faces are still selected. So I just press delete. Now I have two separate objects that we've just created from one. So I'll just put it slightly in nice. So this is our cube created and we're gonna create dome light. What is important that dome light can be strong. Uh, you know, you see it's uh, fully white. So we're just gonna take that intensity right down because we are gonna get one more light there and it's a RE light. We're just gonna plug that right inside our cube. But to be able to see inside the cube, we just select the front glass, go to the basic tab and select X-ray. So we can see through that. We select the RE light again and press R. We can rotate it downwards. So it's facing downwards 90 degrees while holding shift and now we just look at it from the top, uh, go into our object mode again, again, so we can see the light handles. That should be right about it. So it's, it sits inside, it doesn't leak, I don't see any light. So that's our exhibit done, right? So now with that, we can take the area light cube and a front glass and press Alt G. So this is put it into now, we call it Exhibit. So we have one plugin site. If you don't know how to make these, then uh, I highly recommend the link. My next tutorial you can learn how to make these. I have kind of a background there and I'm going to highlight the exhibit one and just kind of duplicate it twice. So the way you do it, you just highlight the null and then you hold control. And while holding control, you click and drag. We have three exhibits here. I'm just going to organize them in a sense, left to right, just so I know exactly. Exhibit one, exhibit two, exhibit three. And now I'm going to put something inside. I have this uh, beautiful skeleton here, which I'm going to make a little smaller. So this beautiful skeleton just goes over here. Hello. Still too big. It's fine. Just gonna hold T, I mean, press T and then 
drag somewhere on the skeleton, drag and hold, and just drag down. And this will scale it proportionally down. We have a one exhibit. I'll just gonna have the second exhibit and third exhibit. Nice. I should probably the first one into exhibit one, the second one into exhibit two, and the third one into exhibit three. Three. So now we have them in correct groups. Great. Let's do some colors. So we're going to start introducing colors with our Arialite. So I'm going to click Arialite in our, our exhibit one and just go into this color swatches and load one of my palettes. So this is uh, some of my palettes that, uh, uh, that I uh, plugged in and I'm going to select these these ones. So I'm just going to start with some kind of a nice shiny. This is our first light. Um, then I'm going to select good stuff. So I have those three and now I'm going to apply material. I'm just going to create new material. Go redshift materials material and apply that material to our front glass and also to our front glass here and front glass here. So all front glasses are selected. I'm just going to go into that material. And now we can play it or I'm just going to go to my redshift, um, redshift material view, just so we can see it better. Now in here, we're going to apply to our material option called thin walled. So it's going to become kind of see through, but we also need to play with the weight of the refraction of that material. So what are we going to do? We're just going to slightly increase it like very minimal, right? So the more you do it, the more light you get. And if you overdo it, then you, you get it, you know, too much. So you want to get it somewhere like that. Now with the material, you want to uh, download one of the smudges texture and just drag it here and just plug it into the reflection roughness. So to get the, get the textures like that, so you, you can download them uh, from, um, you know, from Google, you just can find them. You, you can find a lot of free ones. Um, and now we have that there, but it's became too much maybe, right? So we can control that with our ramp. So we pl plug ramp, ramp, and we go texture into ramp into reflection roughness of our material. And now with the ramp, we can control actually how much, how much roughness we are getting there. So we can also change that black to kind of gray. So it's kind of a That's our texture on our glass material. So we have a thin glass preset, uh, tinted glass preset, and we we change it to tin walled. Then we reduce the weight to very minimal number, like zero 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 point zero four nine, and we plug the ramp. We plug the texture through the ramp into reflection roughness. Now we can go back to our standard view. Just kind of get new angle on it. And I'm just going to pop a, one of our figure on our exhibit three um, on a beautiful skeleton. Just going to plug it out. So I'm just going to turn on the IPR. So we, we see that effect is it's really nice. And now we can literally just play with the front glass material to dial down and, and get the effect we really like. So great. So this is something I really enjoy. And, and all we can do now is, is, is really play with uh, with our exhibits and, and just kind of give them more interesting characters. So I was thinking about these, uh, you know, little little kind of ball shapes that uh, they are stuck to the to the cube, right? And they have their own lines. So we can again, create material and create incandescent material and drag it onto our sphere. And then just go straight into that 
and change the color of illumination to something from our palette already selected so it still works within our palette so and then we change the intensity multi multiplier right even to something like six you know duplicate these just place them all around great and i think that's it i think that's it i, I think i think it's really nice to see you know this thin wall material can be can be really good in in creating this kind of a volume like uh, you know containers of um, you know volume like looking kind of so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm going to include this uh, project file uh, on my Gumroad for free to download. So uh, if, if you are interested in, in to seeing uh, or if you want to, if you kind of want to see that uh, already finished, then definitely go in there and you can download it right now. So thank you very much for watching and let me know what would you like to see next in next tutorials. I really enjoy these and I'm really happy that you guys subscribing to my channel. I'm only working for about two and a half months in Redshift and I really enjoy the process. So I'm, I'm sharing anything I learn, I share sharing directly with you as I go. So I really enjoy that way. Um, so thank you very much for watching and see you next one.